Assalamualaikum Merana Marabiyahi Assalamualaikum Merana Marabiyahi Welcome Happy to Malaysian Generation Channel Before we start our video Let's join our Facebook community If you like our video Send us, us the stars Adi Merana Nenek Malibu Beautiful boat tour on Upper Kachura Lake Skardu, Pakistan Or what do you want to Fear of Vision Let's see the paper Let's start Welcome to today's video. So guys, today we are here in lovely Skardu. Check it out, Upper hey. Kachora Lake. And we've got a little, the guy, little happy bunny out here. Hey. So apparently we've got some British pigeons here. Let me show you the greenery. Look how lovely that is. What do you think of the wild so far? You know what? This place is mm. just uh, breathtaking. It is I would absolutely. Say. The scenery and everything here is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. And everyone's just so calm and chill. Everyone's just sitting in the grass, sitting in the fields. And if you have a look around here, it's just literally, it's like countryside, greenery. It just reminds you of being fresh. Fresh. That's just, I feel like I'm in Switzerland. You know, one of those pictures that you see in like the Switzerland greenery, like the fields and stuff with the snow-capped mountains surrounding it and all that. That's what I feel like where we're in. Oh my God, yeah, Isn't you're it? right. You see some brown horses yeah running across and we've completed it and look at these little kids here that are just chilling hello assalamu alaikum and you know what i've just let the window down and it's nice and crisp outside there's a little nice little cool breeze slapping your face which is nice it's a nice little change from the boiling heat of the punjab region which we've been in for quite a while now so it's a refreshing change i would say yeah, and Julia agrees in the back. We just got a light, nice little bumpy road now going up this uh, Upper Kachora Lake. I'm like, really excited to see it. It's right next to the Shangri La Hotel, so we might see a bird's eye view of that as well. Yeah, we decided not to go into Shangri La because it's 1,000 rupees per person entry, which which is crazy because I thought it was 1,000. I thought it was 1,000 for per vehicle. But which makes know. sense, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's 1,000 per person to enter, which in my honest opinion, and remember, we always give our honest reviews that everything here is an absolute rip-off. I wouldn't go there. There's no other way to put it, guys. That's my personal opinion. If you have the money and you want to view it, by, by all means, but I wouldn't recommend it. And our driver also kindly said that it's probably not best money spent but you are oh, you know what i'm going to do this look at this man look at this this is and you know what this is water from the mountains that is coming right down to the lakes and it's drinkable it's fresh so yeah we just looks like we're just entering into the lake area now so we are now making our way to the lake right Yes, we are guys and if you just look around us it's just absolutely stunning look at that oh wow yeah. look at this even Zakaria's like hmm <laughs> isn't it yeah. look Zakaria look is the mountain. mountain it's the mountain look I told you I'll take you to mountain yes, yeah it is, so we play mountain all the time don't we when Zakaria was small if I used to sing to him Go Should on. we go on a mountain? So I used to sit down, right, <laughs> raise my knees and put him on my knees and say, shall we play mountain? Because he used to be high up and he always, no matter how much he would be crying, screaming the place down, instant laughs, mate, instant laughs. Yeah. And we go how on trekking. Go? How did go? So I used to sit down and say to him, Zakaria, shall we go on a mountain? Mountain. Shall we play a mountain? Yeah, look at this place, honestly. The cross, the, the bridge cross, the this crossover. Is, bridge crossing, make sure you don't fall over Hussein suspension bridge. Oh my god, we've <laughs> got the natural rocks. Natural rocks, natural ridge there. The weather is absolutely perfect, perfect for walking around. This weather is like, you know, in the UK, but it's nice, best weather for hiking. It's not too hot, but it's nice and cool. Yeah. And you can go on a nice little hike. And look, you've just got these like, the water flowing through. Natural bits. Big massive giant rock. Wow, look at this. Wow, it's just massive. What is it? Just the greenery here, man, is just wow. Such a stunning, stunning 
beautiful place. It's like what you see in the postcards. It is, isn't it? Isn't it? So we've got to watch our step. Oh. Nadia, you okay there with Zakaria? And you've got little rice fields here, so this is the water flowing. Yeah. That is feeding the rice here. It's, we could be in Bali right now. I was going to say, it's not only Bali, yeah. Yeah, rice fields, is it? Oh yeah. Oh, if you guys can smell what we are smelling right now, it smells so beautiful. And you know what? After like you probably you guys have probably seen our vlogs that we've been in Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad. And you know, like this is proper refreshing, isn't it? Those cities are full of a lot of pollution because there's obviously motorbikes and cars and all that kind of stuff here over there. But here it's just just clear air, there's no smog, there's nothing, it's just beautiful. I'm just in love with it right now, I'm so yeah. happy that we came. I am, I'm so happy that we came. We got a bit of a rope to help us get down here, so you're not slipping. And sideways, I always find, if you walk down sideways, you get a bit more of it. Oh my god, wow. you can't even see it. Wow. This is from afar. This is from far away. Yeah, look at that. No, no, no. So now we've just climbed up down some of these dodgy steps here. Now we've got nice steps. Everything that we have here is all natural around here. There's no buildings. It's all like they've kept tried to keep it to its original structure as opposed to Shangri-La where there's just all buildings around there. So let's carry on. We've obviously got a drone. I'm going to take the drone out and fly. Bear in mind when you're in Skardu, the electricity is quite limited. I think it only comes from maybe about four or five hours a day and we noticed actually quite a bit of problems charging our things so just bear that in mind so today I'm running on one drone battery so we're gonna have to yeah really think about where we fly the drone it's yeah. a bit similar to Hansa Valley and Gilgit because it's all run on hydropower electric so the, the our our guy was just saying that it's not season for electric right now that's why it's very limited ah uh, okay because we're outside the season and all the water's frozen the hydro generators are not working so when we're in within season all the water melts and it starts powering everything yeah and you know that what? makes sense for, for like the way the world is going now and to save the earth you know you can't get any more natural than that can you yeah i think these are the steps that we have to try to make yeah this is the whole step that we have to take as a human race if we really want to save the planet right save the planet yeah, yeah. And the day we're recording this, guys, it's Earth Day. Is it? Yeah. Okay, it's Earth Day. Right. Oh, yeah, it is Earth Day. <laughs> nice. That wasn't planned, but planned. lovely how things turn out. Oh, people on boats down there. Oh, let's get on a boat, innit? Let's get on a boat. Yeah, let's get on a boat. Guys, I feel like I'm back in the Philippines or somewhere <laughs> with the blue water. Ooh. I can see from a distance. I'm well excited. <laughs> Defo, recommend you need to check this place out. Oh my definitely, god. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Definitely recommend this place. The weather's not been that great at night time. It was a bit cold. Slow and it come. Slow and it come. Right, we're nearly there guys. We are nearly there. Shall I go in front? Oh, this is a proper raw experience of us. We're taking you through the whole upper Kachora lake. Yeah, the journey through the lake. The journey. The journey to the lake. Hey, it's all about the journey, not the destination. That's right. Oh, wow, they've got a Hess uh, hotel here as well. So if you fancy staying the night, guys. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's called Lake Guest Hotel. Right, so if you fancy staying the night, why not? And I bet you get beautiful views in the morning here with the sun shining on the lake at different hours. Oh, so yeah. maybe it's worth stopping off if you have time. Hey, the Kiria. Hey, Tikiloni. Hi, Zaki Pupu. This little guy is in a proper adventure he is. Yeah, he doesn't like staying in the hotel does he? No, if he's, at, if he's in the hotel he starts getting itchy feet. Yeah, like today we kind of got up a bit late and we left the hotel quite late actually today. But by the time we got out and got ready he was really getting kind of agitated but as soon as we got in the car he was fine. He was chilling, you know. Ah, a bit. He's like his mum and dad isn't he? Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at that, it's beautiful. Wow, wow, right, I'm gonna wow. Out. Look at this guy. Wow, this is stunning. I did not expect this guys, honestly. Definitely did not expect this. You know, when you hear a lake, you think, yeah, a body of water and that's about it really, because that is the definition of it. But this is a beautiful lake. Guys, I've got to say, this is like in the top 10 of lakes that I've seen, and I've seen some pretty awesome lakes. What this is, absolutely. If this was in the UK, It'll be outstanding natural beauty. What do they call it? Oh, area of outstanding natural beauty. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A O N 
B, bros. This That's is what, what it is. That's what it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it, Zakaria? What's Zakaria's reaction? Do you like it, Bobo? Yeah, he likes it. He definitely likes it. Yeah, we go on a nice. We're going a speedboat. We go around the lake. Check it out. See what it's all about. Take it from there, man. Look at this. This is. This is just. This is stunning. Look at this. Yeah. Manzoor is saying he's going to take us on a speedboat. Captain. Ah, uh, he's our captain for the day. Right. Captain for the day. Up with the boat right now. That's it. We're going to go on a speedboat over there. So it's usually three thousand five hundred, but he's giving it us for two thousand. Yeah. See a nice little little standard boat there. It's fifteen hundred. Right, but the big boat, which you can stay in and get some nice spacious seating in, I think. Yeah. And it's probably quick as well, right? Yeah, it'll be a nice smooth ride. Yeah. There you go. Rock the boat, rock the boat. Go on, Fambos. That's it. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm gonna get on the boat as well now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. You get me on. You get on the boat. Mega. Oh, what a baller. <laughs> right, so. Right, here we go. Hey, you got different speed options as well, mate. Slow. Yeah, the engine is going to go right now, guys. So it might get really noisy. Yeah, so what we're going to do is probably enter some B roll of us going around the lake now, right? So enter that B roll over. The engine is not that loud, to be honest. Yeah, he's got it on quite slow, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah, both. Welcome to Scarborough, Zakaria. Yeah! So guys, we're just casually sat on the boat right at the end, just admiring the views right now. And I think Zakari is also happy, aren't you, Bobo? Are you happy, Bobo? Are you, Bobo? Yeah! Yeah, he is. He's in his element right now. Oh, right! And look at that! Yay! Yeah. So guys, this is all natural water. You can actually fish here as well. You can get speed boats, you can get paddle boats. It's just so relaxing. And it, the views are just stunning. So stunning. It's stunning, stunning views. Out words, like literally, when I take a pop bottle, it's crisp clear. Like literally, it's just 100% perfection. Yeah. Lost for words in this place, honestly. Just lost for words. So, guys, you know we said you can do fishing here. Look ah, at this. Simon. Simon. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look at this guy. Yeah, and these guys are... Oh, 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 oh. oh, look, so these kids are doing their fishing here, right? So, hello. So, just a line, rod, go on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Say hello. So, look at this. This is his makeshift fishing rod. You can't even see it. You can't even see it, but it's literally this little string. That's all it is. Look at that. Oh, he's got something, I think. Oh. Has he got something? I think so. Oh wow. Moment of truth, moment of truth. So he's just bringing the rod in now, the makeshift rod, right? And let's see if he's caught something. Has he caught something? Ah, okay, so this is what they have at the end of the rod. Wow, look. So he's got a little hook there, right? See the hook? That is what you call a legendary hook. Where's well, a couple of hooks and they put a bit of bait on. There you go, look at that. Little bit of bait goes on it. Wow, just a bit of flour, guys. What a legend. Hey, but we're in the other one. These are pieces of meat, meat. and our bait. So yeah, look at these guys, man. Sufficient uh, utter. So look, he, he's now going to swing it around. Put some back. Wow. And boom, there you go. Go straight into the lake there. And he's going to wait now and get some fishes. And this is the end product, right? Look, this is what the guys get. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. They don't really fish to eat. This is more of a fun hobby for them. They put the fish back afterwards. That's nice of them, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. lovely little lads. But look at that. He's got, I think, one, two, three, four. I can count in there right now. Hello. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Let's see if he's got something, yeah? Go on, lad. Oh, he's got a bit of a, got a bit of seaweed. So there you have it, guys. This is what enjoying afternoon playing with your friends is all about in the northern regions of Pakistan no computer games no you know social media nothing like this these guys just come out by the lake sit down relax with each other and guys it's so therapeutic fishing honestly the best look, antidepressant ever these guys are just and they're happy these kids are happy look at them smiling look at them just talking and smiling to, with each other this is a life man this is this is the life Look at this fresh trout, guys. 
Oh wow. So guys, that was absolutely epic. I could stay here for hours and hours, but we have to go. I really enjoyed this impromptu visit to Upper Kachora Lake. I would definitely, definitely recommend this place if you're short for time in Skardu and you have only a few things to do, definitely keep this place as one of your stop off points. 100% honestly. It reminds me of Kayangan Lake, the colour of the water in the Philippines. Yeah. And that apparently is one of the clearest lakes in the whole of Asia. So that's saying something. Yeah, so that actually was a beautiful, beautiful lake. But yeah, we are now going to make our way back to the car. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Oh. Hit that bell icon. So you notify when we upload our next video. And we'll see you on another adventure in our next video. But in the meantime, follow your visions, guys. And we'll see okay. you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Subhanallah. MashaAllah. So beautiful the lake. Okay. Kachura Lake. Yeah. Upper in Kachura. MashaAllah. All right. We already uh, included in our bucket list. Yes. Upper Kachura Lake. I would love to try do the fishing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. It's so uh, fun when watch the kids playing that because he said that they will put the fish back in the lake they don't cook or uh, keep it at home they just to have fun so next day they will do it again yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fish the fish will get confused <laughs> <laughs> but the view is so much beautiful subhanallah is stunning mm -hmm. uh, we would love to experience it and uh, to be honest i never do fishing before mm -hmm. so uh, when i see these kids having a good time with uh, uh with their friends mm -hmm. they inshallah they will have a good memory yeah. when they go up yeah childhood memories is the most important because yeah. it stay here in mm -hmm. our mind <laughs> yeah so what about your childhood memory maria do you remember any Okay, either good or bad. Uh, childhood memory, but it's still memory, right? My childhood. Yeah. I play at the playground with my friends. Oh. And then I ride bicycle and I jump from the bicycle and my knee got... <laughs> Injured. <laughs> Injured. Both of my knee. Uh, when, when I was a kid, I'm a bit brutal. <laughs> I, I think until now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so, how... Were you when that time I think eight to nine years old. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> Tough Maria. <laughs> Jump from bicycle to the okay. Yeah, it was um mid nineties. Mid nineties. Uh, is it? No. Uh, your childhood because you Oh no, 20, 20 oh, uh -huh. 2000. Already. So yeah. <laughs> Actually, mine, uh, my my memory, uh, mid. my childhood memory was in uh, mid 90s. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. <laughs> Back then, no uh, game, mm -hmm. uh, no, no mobile legend, so on. Yeah. 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 Nothing. Yeah. It started when I was 12, I think. This all, all those so, things, social media and all that. When I was uh, 2000 something. Mm -hmm. So overall, we really enjoyed this video. Please do share with us your childhood memory. Write yeah. down at comment section below. Okay, we will love to know. And then, inshallah, I will give reply each of you who yeah, share, share with us uh, about your childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, we will love to know. <laughs> if we don't mind, it's good or bad. Yeah, any memory that you remember, you can share with us. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much for your suggestion. Please give us the stars if you like this video. We really appreciate it. If you love this video, please share it with your family members and friends. Don't forget to share it on your social media as well. Please subscribe to our channel Malaysian Girl Rations and follow our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also TikTok Malaysian Girl Rations. Thank you so much. Till next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.